Alright, so when I left off we were just about to write the map draw function. So what we want to do is loop through all tile positions. And to do that we want two for loops. Um, for x up to the map height and y down to the y up to the map width. And we wanna, um, we're gonna draw every layer in here. So what we need to do is, for we'll say tile layer one. All right. So we're gonna draw the tile, the layer in here. So we're gonna say if tile layer one dot layer. Um. X, oh sorry, y x does not equal zero, so if there is an actual tile there, then we want to get bounds, get the bounds from the tile sheet equals tile set tile layer one dot layer y x minus one and the reason we want to take minus one off is because the list starts from zero and not from one so it goes zero one two three all the way up so get tied then we want to actually draw this tile sheet the, the tile so draw the tile and how we want to do that is we want to say game one dot sprite batch dot draw. I want to say game one dot tile sheet. We haven't actually declared this yet. It's going to be a texture. Um. Then at the position we want is y from here minus the draw offset times the tile width. So we want to offset that by how much we've scrolled across. Multiply this by the tile width, and that gives us the actual dimension in screen space um, as a width. That's our x value, and the same here for the y value, and that's by tile height. The rectangle is the boundary rectangle. That's bounds, which we just got from that tile set. That gives us our actual tile from this tile sheet. So we only want a small bit of it and then the color is white. So it's the same thing for each layer here pretty much. Um, so I'm just going to copy it down. Say for tile layer one. Tile layer two. So all, all I've done is change the one to two here. The one to two here and that's pretty much it and uh, then the name the next one for the um, solid layer solid layer solid layer all right um so we'll just copy that down and because we we don't actually need to find the bounds here because there's only one thing that we're going to be doing and we haven't added it yet but it's going to be a texture called solid and it's just red but as you can see here we're making it slightly transparent well quite a bit transparent so that we can actually see it it would shrink to whatever or grow to whatever size we wanted it to because of this clause so that's just that's the texture that we're drawing which is solid which we haven't added this is the position that and that and also this is the size of the texture we want to draw this is the color so it's white and uh, with a bit of an alpha value to it so that's that and the next thing we want to do is we want to create a load tile set load tile set function public void load tile set Alright, so we want to pass in a texture 2D and we call that tile set. 
so we want to get the tile dimensions so int number of tiles x equals int tile set dot width over tile width okay int number number of tiles y equals int tile set dot height over the tile width tile height sorry and that gives us the actual number of tiles in the tile set so how many cross and how many down now we want to um, initialize the tile set list so that's tile set equals new oh there must be something wrong there tile set yeah they call it that tile set equals new wonder why that would be tiles tile set's a list isn't it? oh it's because I've called it that so we'll call it tile sheet instead alright tile set equals new new rectangle, ok so that's gonna be number of tiles x times number of tiles y that's, the many, that's how many tiles we need and then we want to split the tile sheet into separate tiles so we'll split or really we should say we should get the bounds of all tiles in the sheet so we want to have um, two for loops here um, one of them going from 0 to the tile number of tiles y and the other one going from 0 to the number of tiles x so pretty much what we want to do is go bounds equals new rectangle i times tile width j times tile height tile width and tile height oh, that's wrong okay so that's creating that and then all we want to do is go tile sheet dot add oh, sorry tile set dot add dot add and we want to add that new bounds to it and that will go right across all of the the tiles in the tile sheet and add those all up add them all to the list so it'll go to the first one at the start of the list, add that then it's going to go to the second one, add that then it's going to go to the third one, add that and it's going to keep going the whole way down the list only one thing that I think we need to do is add what is that, tie sheet Game one that has you. Oh yeah, we haven't added that in yet. We'll add all those in the in the next part.